What is going on, guys? We are back with another video today, and we are in a bit of a, a bit of a series here. Our Miami Dolphins online user franchise, but we just came off of getting smoked by Cliff and the Washington football team. A very not so close game, probably the worst we've played in the entire series so far. Of course, there was a bit of uh, wind and rain, uh, and a bit of pass rush. <laughs> D line was a ferocious one. And I'm glad we don't have to face it. Of course, as far as playing a pass rush like that in D-line like that, that combination of no insiders and no outsiders, it's not a super common one, thankfully. Uh, but as we are in week three now, we are going up against the New England Patriots, who, of course, are 1-1. One one. They're a division rival on top of it. And we're looking to get back on track. As you can see, we also got a breakout. Who could that be? I don't know. I felt like everyone played really poorly, but maybe not. Uh, looking at the team, this is what it looks like. Uh, Waddle is going to try and get the number one, you know, stats and all that this season. We'll see what we can do there. Uh, Tua was obviously not very good. Mitchell, is he close to his thingy? Oh, he is. What can he get? So he can get short out elite, which would suck. Uh, reach for it, which would be awful. Energizer, like I said, maybe not the worst thing. Evasive would be insane. Jukebox would be insane. So it's like two out of five. So our chances of getting something bad are, are pretty high, honestly. Uh, as far as the rest of the team goes, this is what we're looking like. So it is a very good team. I'm still trying to trade Byron Jones. I might have a trade for him soon enough. And uh, we also paid Davenport and Tua. So uh, everything's looking pretty good, other than the fact that we just got smoked. Looking at the players of the week, we definitely didn't get any. Uh, but we also apparently didn't give up any, which is awesome. Uh, but let's take a look at who the breakout is. I didn't do the weekly training right away because I didn't want to, you know, start the guy that was on the breakout because then he could get injured. I think we have injuries off in practice, but I don't want to take that chance. Please be Gasicki. Who is it, though? Ugh, okay, I mean, we'll take that. I don't know how much Hunter Bates plays, but at 250 total yards or less, and then one plus for Hunter Bates. I'll take that because he's, like, the only guy that isn't hidden on the uh or star plus on the defense pretty much and what the hell is this what <laughs> defend the deep pass why <laughs> surely he can't what's happening is there an injury i have no it maybe cam's injured or something i don't know but uh throw it medium defend medium and uh yeah i mean that's that's kind of it what the hell is that jesus man but here are our upgrades oh i forgot about uh mr baker Run stopper is the one we wanted, right? Uh, run stopper, field general sucks, right? Yeah, I mean, we'll take we'll take run stopper. Hopefully, field general doesn't get upgraded as well. But let's see, three upgrade points. He gets two to block shed. What's his thing? Oh, he did get field general as well, and he gets nothing. God damn it! I hate when. God damn it, dude! All right, I guess I'm gonna use this as uh, proof. That, you know, we didn't, like, cheat or something like that. So, it was unfakeable in the beginning one. Ah, oh, crap. <laughs> I, I'm already running late for the matchup, and then I get this to happen. Uh, I, I don't know. We'll, we'll see what we get, but let's go over to it. Baker, Superstar. There probably is a better way to do it, but it's just, yeah, we're just going to do it this way. And Superstar, once again, I'm trying not to have any edit points or anything like that. What do we get? Deflator. Wait, is that good? We'll increase mo. Ah, oh, damn it! I thought this was the one. Where's the other one? I thought that was the. What was the one that I was looking for? Lumberjack, bro. No, 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 no. That sucks, dude. What? Like, how does that even help? It doesn't even do anything. Uh, so you like make them more tired? Really? You make them more tired is the ability. Oh well, lose it back. Get, ooh, one to speed. That's an automatic win. That's clutch. We'll take that. And he gets... <sighs> Doesn't ever go well for us when we do this either, so... Balance beam, and what are we going to get? And now my game's broken. Are you effing me in my a-hole? All right, let's try this again. <laughs> God damn it, dude. There's probably a better way to do this, but this is just the way I've been doing it for other people as well. Come on, Mitchell. Give it to me. Oh, that sucks, dude. Well, he's useless. Energizer. I mean, like I said, that is better than reach for it. Could have had evasive. Could have had jukebox. Could have had short out elite. 
gets freaking energizer one of the two so it actually was three out of five for a good uh, it is what it is maybe we look for a new running back because those abilities suck all it's gonna do is make it you know make him more expensive to trade for or trade for resign anyways not that it's gonna be high anyways but people's jones oh man that's just <laughs> why I'm gonna go with slot upgrade because he kind of needs short route and catching you know, he's our possession guy. He gets the short route, gets the catch in traffic. God, he is really not good. Like, at all, dude. It is what it is. What is Austin Jackson bad at? Pass block stuff, I suppose. Pass block and run block. God, he just sucks. <laughs> so what overall? Is he an 81 now? That's a pretty good... Oh! What? That is quite the freaking upgrade, dude. There you go. My boy, Gillette Stadium in Foxborough, Massachusetts. Of course, a legendary stadium. You see all those freaking Super Bowl banners. Makes us sad. We want to join that. We want to get all those banners ourselves. Damn it. Of course, uh, rocking some kind of special uniforms should be enough of a difference. I mean, that pure red is piercing. And uh, it's a pretty nice look. Both teams kind of rocking something new. That was one to beat. I mean, how many times we've seen people's ankles snapped? The one time they're not snapped. That's the one time we needed them. It would have been a touchdown. Of course, to the outside might be our quick look. I should actually have looked at his team. I completely forgot to. And Mitchell's going to gain about three. I normally don't run it back-to-back, -back, and I've like never run it triple. I don't really like the formation here, but let's go for it anyways. And that's, I mean... What the hell is Peoples Jones doing there? Our season has not been like that good. He's got some decent talent out there, and yeah, I that that's that's Petrovsky. <laughs> no chance we're getting that to him. Man, our season has really been rough on offense. But that's the thing, though. Like we are going. Oh, what a hit by Ward, the rookie! Let's go, dude. All right, could be a run out the gate. Might be trying. Might be time to already go for it. Ah, we got beat. Tate! Good try, good try. We should be able to to get this, right? It's not going to be easy, but we should be able to. Ah! Oh, good job. Who is that? Davenport, my guy. Nice start. I don't know how I feel about the formation, but the man coverage is, you know, we want it. Oh, Cam Newton is in. What the hell? Oh, I got beat, dude. Don't do it. Fumble! Fumble! Who's, who forced it? Was it Phillips? Recovery by Franklin Myers. That is fortunate. He was actually going to take it. I got beat, but he's no way he's getting that out there. The safety's there, dude. Probably looking for Gasicki. Ooh, that was not a great, like, outcome. I probably should have just trusted the throw and all that. If I would have went the rack catch at the touchdown for sure. I don't know how to feel about this. We'll, we'll look over at Fuller, but I don't think he's going to be open. He's really not. And Mitchell will walk in. There we go. First rushing touchdown of the season for Mitchell, which once again is not good. <laughs> I don't really care about him getting to X-Factor because X-Factor really doesn't do anything anyways for me. And, uh, like, it sucks because, like, I'm not, like... I'm not done with him, but it sure as hell like feels like he's peaked already, right? And that could be it. I don't know. I wouldn't be willing to bet on it. And I obviously won't pause there because that'll easily, you know, it'll show him that we have a freaking scenario with him. That's a really good play by us. I couldn't really switch out of that, so I, I kind of just went with it. Did about as well as we could on that. Tate just in coverage casually against him again. Ah, I forced him inside. It would have been our tackle for a loss for sure that time. He's going to be short again. And obviously, we're going to play some actual defense here because this is a situation, even though, yeah, I was about to say, even though you're in your own 34, you probably go for the fake there or go for it in general. I'm not sure why he went with the fake knowing that we weren't in punt defense, but he did. <laughs> he simply did. All right, let's see if we can actually see the field halfway decent this time. Nope. <laughs> and that, yep, that's going to be picked. That was terrible. Gilmore baited me. Damn, dude, we are playing like trash this season. 
That one's all me. That is absolutely all me. That is just poor vision. I missed hard there. Good defense. I don't know if he has a scenario with David, uh, Damian Harris. That's his name, right? Damian Harris? For some reason, that felt wrong. But it's not. Who the hell plays man coverage? Yeah, I'm not going to switch. Good tackle. And Bates does have his tackle for a loss already. Sweet. Can change the lineup up again and make sure we have our guys in. All right, we're uh, committed, if you will. I got freaking tricked out of my mind. Tackle ward. I actually thought I was covering someone else because of how open the other guy got, dude. Once again, I do have to start playing that myself, but as you've noticed already, probably lots of drags. We have a lot of DBs in, speaking of lots of things. I fell for it. Jesus, speaking of falling for things, falling over his own guy. He is not having much success on the ground so far, without a doubt. Red one, you want to get over? I mean, how much time does he need? Oh, that's a bit of a missed throw. And Howard's going to pick that off easily. Yeah, it's a bit of a throw. Uh, not a good one. Good pressure, in fairness, but uh, yeah, still. Now we're not going to take a hit stick from whoever that is. And now our lineman is injured. Sweet. That is tough. Standing in your own end zone is not a comfortable feeling, believe it or not. We'll run it again. And he misses, but his D-lineman doesn't. Damn. That's the thing. Like, we were talking about, you know, not having to play against a pass rush that's super insane. But the pa the the receivers, or the corners anyways, are very good. And, of course, dude, how are people getting so much more pressure on us than we get on them, dude? Wide open. Gasicki can't get it to him. In the zone, uh, Gilmore probably not going to get beat, right? That's a really good play, and of course, his guy just comes up from out of nowhere. Got two corners in the zone, obviously his on the other side. And that could be another pick, and it is red one. The pressure. Good moves. Good job, red one, getting them some yards. We've been a bit iffy ourselves, so we'll take what we can get. Jesus. Uh, but yeah, we have a good secondary. He has a good secondary. This is just a crap fest so far, dude. This is not good. Sicky pretty open and still gets suctioned. I was hoping he would have moved upfield. Levante David on the coverage. He's probably going to bring the blitz here. Maybe not. Bro, what? Bro, how the hell are they bailing him out on three down? Damn it, Jukebox didn't even do a damn thing in there. We have grab and go and Jukebox. I couldn't even break the first tackle. That's harsh. At least he's out of the damn zone now. Gasicki could be my look over the middle of the field. Ooh, close fumble. I bring a blitz, nothing. He brings a run blitz because he thinks it's a run, and he gets there instantly. I don't understand, dude. I mean, we do have an injury now. I think it is to our center, but that's just harsh, man. We're just going to take the sack there. He's using chin, which I don't know if that means he has a breakout or not. I don't really don't care about other people getting their breakouts. It's just about winning and whatnot. So yeah, his, uh, his defenders are doing well. I mean, I have nowhere to go. Good job, Tua. I mean, it's something. And I don't even think he's just backing them up on us. Like last week, you know, you review the tape and... He backed him up on us a lot. So that's the reason why we, uh, you know, that's the reason why we struggled because we don't like to th go short. But this game, I've, I've thrown a couple of more short routes in there and there really just hasn't been an opening. Maybe I'm not being decisive enough. Oh, I didn't even notice that was Petrovsky. He's huge. I want to run the ball more, but uh, if he's going to get through on a three man, I mean, what chance do we really have to run the ball, honestly? Oof. Baker was there, but I'm a little surprised that he just dropped it straight up like that. Jesus, can I get there? Warden coverage. I 
It's good defense by us. There's about as good a defense as he can get. Surprised we're actually getting some success from, uh, I think it's, well, actually, Phillips has been switching, but I think that time Phillips was actually on their right tackle. Everything's short, dude. With no pressure in the game, how the hell are you supposed to do anything? There we go, Tate. Don't know what the coverage looked like, but I was just running that down. I don't care. You will see a lot of times where I'm, you know, in the wrong situation and I just pull out of here, but not this time, buddy. Oh, my God, dude. He ran three down linemen, made the play. We run three down, we get smoked like you're supposed to. Our team's just not in it this year. I don't know. That's, you know, nobody on him. He fights forward to the 10, which is actually beneficial for us. We'll, we'll take that. It's, that's like a mini win, despite the fact, you know. Damn, that's not grounding. He came back in the pocket. There you go, Baker. Unfakeable Baker. I said it. It's a throwaway. I mean, we held up, but still, it's a really bad performance on us. Jesus, dude. All right, Mitchell, you might be the look again, dude. Don't miss that throw. There we go. Finally an opening. Waddle for 74. There we go. That play action is so broken, dude. You have to make sure the DB is back to be able to stop that. Finally, something. Really haven't seen anything open, like, at all. At least Bates is star, though. Hoo -hoo. Put himself in trouble. Good job missing the tackle guy. I wasn't going to switch to him mid-run. Also, our blitzes suck, if you weren't aware. Without quick draw, what? All, literally all of the abilities I have are abilities everyone has built in. I swear. In what world is that like allowed? Ooh, chance at a pick. Who's he thrown to there? Once again, I didn't look at his players, unfortunately. The D Ward, the speed, bro. Like, it should be doing fast on fast, or not fast on fast, overall by overall, but Ward locked up on that one. The main coverage came alive. Got some room. Wow, really? The linebacker? Who's not even, like, a coverage linebacker? He's, like, a pass rushy one? Peoples Jones. I had him. Um... Damn, dude. Yeah, I deserved a fumble there. Damn it, dude. I had Waddle. That sucks, dude. I had him. I don't know why I didn't just take him. Of course. Yep. Good read. That was a good press. Shocker. He goes to the drag. Haven't seen that today. All over that with tape, but they didn't give me the acceleration I needed. Let's go with Franklin Myers for once. There we go. Thank you. Been getting away with it all day. Thank you. That's a long play. <laughs> that was a really, really long play, dude. I think your best bet here is probably, I don't know, just like base man. It's dangerous because you could give up the touchdown, but press man. Is that a late hit? What? Oh, okay. I was about to say, dude, what? It was a very smart call to go with the press man with a three down because it was just going to take too long for him to develop anything. And he might have had the drag left, but even then we had decent coverage. It was a good call. You know, you're going to screw us out of our sack totals when we're, like, literally all over you. I hope they, you know, call the hold so then I can actually, or the hold, the grounding call. It's only fair, man. He is coming out with this look a lot. Good 
We bring in the heat. Can I tell you, we like the heat. I missed hard there. Good job, Baker. That Baker is unfakeable. I know it's not secure tackler. It's still pretty good, though. He's been pretty good, dude. Damn. How do we get bumped off like that, though? Did we not have someone fast on him? Don't tell me we bumped our own player. Damn it, dude. He's literally always rolling out. It's his fault that he's getting under all this pressure. Everything's underneath, man. I mean, I don't know what I can do. I don't know if he's completed a pass over 15 yards. Tate, this is a tough user, but we'll get it. Good hit, Tate. Got like 86 hit power. He's, yeah, he's pretty decent. I got stuck. Get him. It's my fault. I was going to run the QB contain, and he hiked it right as I did. There's his over 15-yard completion. Perfect blocking. Damn it. Late hit launch? Do I trust Waddle to win out there? I do. Gilmore ain't keeping up to Waddle. Gilmore ain't keeping up to Waddle. Sorry, Gilmore. You've lost a set, brother. Do you see the little spin move I put on him? Damn it, I was hoping that was uh, someone bigger, but it wasn't. If we could actually play, like, proper defense, though, that would be sweet. We haven't stopped a soul, dude. We have a lot to cover on this side. Holland with the pick. Good tackle by Samuel, though. It's pretty good freaking uh, defense, dude. A little surprised. Mitchell up the middle. Good job, Mitchell. Finally getting some run room. Of course, he wasn't ready at all for that, but still, we haven't, you know, seen that much success even when he is, uh, when he isn't ready, you know. Oh my God, how, dude? He's a terrible player. This guy was playing off. Good throw by Tua, though. All things considered, it was if he read, if he would have switched over in time, they'd definitely give him a pick on that. So lucky to not be intercepted, to be honest. Yeah, I don't know who Duggar just got killed there. There's Gasicki. Drag route's pretty easy to throw to, believe it or not. Gasicki just got rolled, by the way, which is harsh. Petrovsky, if it wasn't Gilmore, I'd give him a chance, but it's Gilmore, so I'm not giving him a chance. There you go. Mitchell. Touchdown from 23 out for number 23. I wouldn't say Energizer is making him better, but he's having an all right game considering. I mean, he's well, he's got a couple of big runs is what I should say. Can't believe Ward, though. He's actually had a pretty good game against uh, Samuel. Good play by us. Literally just willing to throw that drag all day. Maybe Samuel has a breakout. I don't know. I doubt it, but never know. Good D, boys. How is Phillips playing so well this year? I don't know how close he is to an ability or whatever, a second ability, but please just get edge threat. Give me something good for once, EA. My abilities have been terrible. Waddle's probably like the only guy that's gotten decent abilities. Oh, damn. That is wide open. Ooh, that was a close call. Redwine actually almost got there in time. Push him out, maybe. Obviously, he's going to be having to go deep. So we're kind of abusing that knowledge. Don't take it. Oh, good play by him. Oh, damn. It was all DBs. I was wondering why no one hit sticked him. Was that um Davenport last second? Oh, we missed hard there. John Franklin Myers insta shed. The D-line's actually done a really good job this game. I know they gave up that one big run, but... Even then, it wasn't that big of a run. We've gotten away with a lot of man coverage in this game as well. Press man, specifically. Tate in man coverage against Samuel has not been great. 
and they won't give it to me. I was literally on that, dude. How? I mean, there's nothing I could do about that. There's literally, I knew where he was going to go. Nothing you could do about that. Absolutely nothing. The change of direction that the players have is just crazy. He's rolled out every single play. Every play we play, or player we play against just rolls out instantly every time. Like, is our pass rush that good? It's like, I don't see it being that good at times, maybe, but usually it's people running into the pass rush that makes it look good. But obviously they don't get there in time because you have to have like 99 speed at every player. That's why I try to get Daniil Hunter. Davenport hasn't been bad, but he hasn't been fast enough at times, or most of the time. And I also absolutely have to get my uh, my backup thing set. Good job, Puka. I mean, honestly, with Mitchell having the trash abilities that he has, is there a reason not to start Puka? Not that Mitchell hasn't played well, but it's just like, Puka seems to be better anyways. This should be a big run, even if he run commits. Job, the juke moves, dude. They're so broken. That's why I'm not super pissed I didn't get evasive, but... You know, or whatever the other one is, but at the same time, what's the point of really using Mitchell if his abilities suck? Great, Waddle gets hurt blocking. Why do players get hurt blocking every time? There goes Dowling. I mean, we've had better success with the backups. Just saying. Read option. Don't tell me he actually has it on conservative, dude. Broken ribs for Waddle. That's all right. There's Fuller, speaking of. To the 13. And there goes Mitchell. Touchdown, Dagger. Three touchdown, Mitchell. I lied. I want Mitchell to be X-Factor. <laughs> I really didn't lie. I don't really care if he does or not. Broken Ribs, though, is rather significant in-game. That could be like four weeks. Add more insult to injury. I mean, literally hurt on blocking, but sure. Good hit, Stevens. feel really bad because Stevens kind of lost the job. Why don't I trade Stevens? Especially with Long being uh, star now. Hopefully Long gets a lot of... Long? Hunter Bates. I'm thinking of the tight end who obviously doesn't start either. Faker, you have unfakeable. Don't get faked out. I don't know. They got blocked hard there. How is that not an eligible man downfield? <laughs> How? The guys are literally miles downfield. John Franklin at D-line is so good, though. I feel bad for Davenport this game. Killed it! That's got to be a fumble every time. I'm sorry, but if you can somehow get in that easily, it's, it's got to be a fumble. Need to press. Play the outside press. There goes John again. Nice. Good play. If John Franklin Myers ever gets a breakout, I mean, I'm feeling good. And I got stuck that time, though. Good job, Redwine. I thought he was going to get the pick. Samuel kind of bailed him on that. John Franklin D-line, dude. Duncan, good try. Good try, dude. He was being grabbed by another guy. We brought the whole team, dude. We brought the whole team. Who am I kidding with Petrovsky? But we'll see, maybe. There you go. Waddle, of course, had himself a pretty damn good day. But unfortunately, it ended in broken ribs. Because blocking, apparently, is very hard uh, it's, it's not an easy, and, uh, we don't know how long it's going to be, but it's probably going to be pretty significant. Look at the numbers. I mean, they look better after the fact, but once again, we normally smoke teams. We normally kill them in the, the passing attack in general, and now with Waddle being injured on top of it, I mean, who knows? This season's looking pretty rough. Uh, this is... This has not been the start we've been looking for. I'll tell you that. Looking at the numbers, though, uh, Cam Newton, four interceptions. I thought it was way more than that. We only threw one with Tua, but it was a really bad read. Uh, Elijah Mitchell with uh, 11 for 63. Puka with 3 for 16. 
two for nine with Dowling. Tua did fumble, and we actually lost that, but it was kind of just like a who cares situation. Samuel, if he was going for X Factor, which it kind of felt like he was, uh, he was like 38 yards short. I don't know, maybe he just throws to him a lot. Gasicki, five for 52. Waddle, four for 175 with two touchdowns. He's injured now. Um, Damian Harris, fair enough. A couple of throws to the running backs. And yeah, really nothing significant at all other than Waddle's game and I guess the touchdowns for Mitchell. But Phillips with a sack, which was nice. Tate, I don't remember, but oh, I do remember actually. We, uh, we chased him down user. John Franklin Myers, we barely used him for tackles for a loss, and he got it. Uh, Bates with a uh, tackle for a loss, which is nice. Holland with two interceptions. Could get a back-to-back -back breakout week, which would be insane. And, yeah, I mean, it was, as far as games go, it felt tame. Once again, even though technically we had a big game with Waddle and the, the touchdown. Look at freaking Davenport, though. Davenport going against not Trent Brown was pretty good. He was actually pretty good. I actually liked the trade. Um, but overall, yeah, I mean, like I said, some of the numbers are a little crazy, but overall it just felt like a tame game. I also completely forgot to change our things, but I suppose, uh, you know, we had some okay ones. If I would have had the right ones on, though, we would have absolutely gotten more, but sure enough, uh, one new injury, we'll take a look at that after, but breakout, oh, come on, dude, why does this happen? Uh, I'm gonna have to force the dev. Hopefully, uh, I'm going to look back at it after I'm done editing, uh, but I'm almost certain it's at 1+, plus, but there goes the XP. Love it. Sometimes you just want to, you know, slap some of the ratings up. Let's see, uh, man, zone coverage, 99. Oh, crap. Actually, I forgot what it was. I'm going to have to back out. <laughs> I actually forgot what his name was coverage was. I think it was 67, but oh, man. It was 60. I see, I know things. I'm not, I'm not a nutcase, but start of element trait. 4,200 XP per upgrade now, which is a lot better. I mean, he's got potential. Here it is. What is it? Four weeks. Okay, so I thought it was going to be five. Technically four with the, uh, what is it called? The Chiefs are also AI, I'm pretty sure, so that doesn't really matter too much. So Chargers and Giants game, I believe, are the only games that will have uh, no Waddle for technically. Obviously, the, the Sim stats against uh, the Chiefs would be uh, nice, but yeah, I'm not too worried about actually needing him to win, which is good. So yeah, I mean, uh, you can see there on the side, I know not everyone's played their games, but Waddle's the number one yards receiver in the league. That's obviously going to disappear. Would love to see him get to X Factor, but, or, you know, I don't know if it's going to happen. Then again, really the only reason why you'd want X Factor is to prevent age regression or you know regression due to age which obviously isn't going to be a problem for him and then uh also i suppose quicker upgrades but it's not by much so it's not the biggest thing in the world but obviously it sucks that hunter Bates didn't get that uh xp because a normal dev low overall a year after their rookie year that's usually 10 to 20 but we'll never know then again usually linebackers are on the lower side for some reason i'm not sure why but yeah, that's going to be a victory. GG to Mikey. I've definitely played a lot better. Now, here's the thing. It's not only about, like, us not playing super well on offense or defense. It also is our opponents are playing pretty well, right? Like, yeah, he's rolling out a lot and is kind of annoying and throwing short at times, but he is doing what it takes to try and win. He's playing pretty well. It's You know, some of the decisions were a little iffy. Some of the throws were a little bit bad by Cam. Some of them were under pressure. He did get himself in trouble almost as much as he did get himself out of trouble, though, rolling out. So, once again, it's almost like that read option thing is like, I'm not going to put on conservative until it absolutely kills us. Even though I did play contains a lot, so other than maybe like a spy, which he wasn't actually running. So, even then, the spy wouldn't even chase him down regardless. You know, it's really not much we could have done, and I don't know if we wanted to really get much done. Once again, a lot of, a lot of overthrow interceptions because he was rolling out and getting himself in trouble, but... Yeah, that's pretty much it. We do win, so the, the losing streak uh, is at one, and that's it, and it's done. Maybe there's some in the future. Who knows? But overall, uh, I'm glad that we uh, won, obviously. But going against the Chargers next week, and like I said, the Giants, and then that is all without Waddle. So Sammy Watkins gets another debut. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, maybe leave a like, subscribe if you're new, follow me on Twitter, Jerome Picare, second channel Picare plays, and then twitch.tv slash Jerome Picare for streams. That's about it, though. Thanks for watching. Hopefully, come back for next video. But until next video, see.